Oh boy, we're shallow. Ooh, definitely a rock right there. <laughs> well, we're landed. Thor here, and as you could hear, I damaged my keel when I beached my boat. I often beach without a problem, however, sometimes things do not go as planned. So in this episode, I wanted to do a review of how well the Rhino Liner keel guard did, and show how I repaired the damage. As you can see, only the very bottom of the keel took any damage. This keel was damaged before I owned the boat, and I have made this repair once before, and that is when I decided to try the Rhino Liner keel guard. Overall, the repair work I did actually turned out really well, and the damage was very minimal. Just a small section of the keel appeared to have a couple of chips of epoxy coating missing. I also found a small scratch on the side of the Rhino Liner keel guard, and was happy to see it did not go through the protective epoxy coating. Repairing the keel was easy. All I had to do was remove the guard and epoxy in the damaged section, and that was done mostly with a scraper. I then sanded clean, reapplied the epoxy tape, and finally reapplied the guard. Overall, I will admit that the Rhino Liner keel guard makes for a poor keel guard, however there was one thing that did impress me about it. Because of this, I know from here on out I will always have this type of guard on my vessel. That one thing is its ability to handle chafing. Often keel guards fail to prevent chafing, and sand can literally scrape off the gel coat around the fiberglass where the two meet when beaching. This has happened to me in the past, however the Rhino Liner appeared to stop all chafing, which is impressive considering how many times I have beached this vessel. In the future I will need some kind of actual keel guard to protect the boat from rocks. Since sacrificial fiberglass keel guards are too expensive and stick on keel guards cannot handle the weight of my boat, I am still looking for an option. So far I have been looking into installing an aluminum keel guard on my boat, but that is an episode for another day. Irregardless of what happens, I plan on installing the new keel guard alongside the Rhino Liner keel guard. I suppose a more apt name for this kind of guard is an anti-chafing guard. Overall I'm impressed with its performance, and I would still recommend it to folks who land their vessels often. So without taking any more of your time, this is Thor, signing out.